Hello everyone. Today's video, I'm going to be just doing an old school black background video. Basically, my camera is just facing the bottom. So, yeah, I, I have nothing else to show you. I don't have anything else to show you. So, it's kind of pointless to move it around. Okay, so let's have a very still video. I might move a bit, and of course, sometimes that might affect the audio, but I think uh, it will be just okay. I'm recording on the bed, well, adjacent to the bed. So, you might hear some springs, you might hear some pats, because I'm patting the bed. Moving on. The culture war. I haven't done a video on, on this in such a long time, or a video on a lot of cultural topics. What is the current culture war? There were many culture wars throughout history, but the current one is something that's that's some that's something that we never created. I never created this modern culture war, to be very frank. Okay, let's be let's be real. You know, I was recently reading an article. While well, skimming through an article, I saw this one guy was very angry at politicians and obviously uh, someone responded to him and then he responded with something about the culture war and how it's dividing people. Here's the thing, I did not start this culture war, the current culture war we're in, I did not start it, okay? Secondly, secondly, many of those people on the woke side, the SJW side, they are the ones participating in it as well. They complain about this culture war, some people even call it a made-up thing, but they are the ones participating in it. They love it. They love it so much because they know how important it is, you know. Some of them won't even acknowledge the culture war because they have such a strong foot into the culture that they don't even have to worry about that. But when we talk about the culture and how it's shifting away and why we have a lot of trashed content now is because because people of in Hollywood, many of them, are fighting in this culture war. They're fighting in it. They know very well that this is creating some kind of some kind of conversation. Some of them even know that this can even be some kind of political conversation. So they are participating in the culture war. Don't be don't be fooled. Many of these people love to participate in the culture war. So there we go. No matter what they say about about how divisive it is, they are the ones doing that in the first place. And that's the major problem. A lot of people choosing to be in the culture war and then getting angry that other people are joining in. Okay. The thing is that that in social media times a lot of people are, are basic a lot of celebrities have a lot of a lot of time to talk about their personal lives which reveals a lot about them, you know, and people get fed up about them. And many of these celebrities are partaking in the culture war. They know damn well that this can help them in some way. And that's basically it, you know? Why do you think most movies these days are so woke, so progressive, and not really f interesting, entertaining? The culture war is something I never started, or especially the modern culture war. Our responses to all of these movies are just responses. We just don't like what's going on. That's basically it. The culture war has gotten to a point where everyone is acknowledging it now. And even normies are acknowledging it. So my main problem with all of this is that I would say not everyone is learning from this. What can we learn from this culture war is that we cannot depend on Hollywood forever. We cannot depend on every mainstream gaming company forever. Things are going to fall. And guess what? Guess what? These people are participating in the culture war. Why are game companies f listening to ESG investors? Why they are why they are accepting ESG investors? ESG, you know what ESG is? I forgot the freaking term now. Great, uh, environmental and s s environmental social and uh, some governance. I forgot the third term, but it's something that's obviously based on politics. It's not something so. Um, so out of so out of the blue that you don't even know how connected it is to politics it's very connected to politics because it's just very it's just in the name itself because you're getting funds you're getting points if you have more games that talk about woke stuff environmental aspects 
you know, and it's just something so crazy, honestly. Games aren't going to, don't expect every single game in the future from major companies to be fun. That's all I'm saying because many of them are just listening to ESG investors. You have to listen to your investors first before your audience. So it doesn't matter what your audience wants. If the investors want it, then the investors have it. And ESG investing is something that's very disruptive, not just in the gaming industry. It's affecting every type of industry and it's really ruining stuff. Um, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. And... Obviously, when we pointed out, some people defend it so much. I'm sorry, I have no idea where I'm going on with this video. I feel like this video could have been scripted, but then at the same time, I think that would be a bit silly because I have no time to script videos. But even if I at least uh, thought about what I'm going to say earlier, then that would be fine. I'm not really a fan of how things are going. And as I said, we have to learn that not, we cannot rely on all of these major companies just to support us forever. That's the main truth of everything. ESG and, you know, diversity training and all that type of stuff is being pushed everywhere. And it is very much political. The worst part is that, that this, is, this is also affecting the culture. They're pushing it everywhere in certain cultural icons, certain video games, certain type of movies. They're trying to make sure that you cannot escape their culture. Their culture is the only thing you can consume. That's it. No matter how bland it is, no matter how tasteless it is, it has to be the only thing consumed. They don't want you to consume anything else. So that's basically it. The culture war boils down to a response to the modern uprising of identity politics and, and forced propaganda in movies. I'm not saying all movies don't need to be prop don't need to have propaganda, but every movie now is not about entertaining. It's about it's just about trying to tell people how to live their life. You know, and there can be movies like that, but the problem is not every movie needs to be like that. Because when every movie be becomes like that, then you don't get entertainment. People might look back during the, these days and realize how much of propaganda we had to withstand. Basically, this modern culture war is just a pushback. You know, it's basically people pushing back against stuff like this. But I feel like we need to not just only push back, we have to create more so we can escape the lashes and the chains of Hollywood. Because, because we can't just only have Hollywood. We can't just have only one type of movie industry. Yes, we have others in other countries, but we just can't only subscribe to that only. So I feel like what we need to do is just create content, you know, and that's basically it. I feel like that's going to be the final nail for the culture war because once people on the anti-social justice side, once they start making content and start entertaining people, then the culture war will somewhat evaporate in some way or it won't really have that much pushback because people will know they have alternatives to all all the social justice crap that's being pushed. So at the end of the day, the only solution is to create, you know? Eric July did something fantastic, which was create his own uh, superheroes. Obviously, you have other people, you know, very interesting uh People like uh, Critical Drinker working on books, Razor first. You know, he has some interesting people creating their content, but I think there needs to be more people and more people on the anti SJW side to make more content. Anyways, that's about it for my ramble. I do apologize if my voice switched over and over. My voice has always been switching forever. I never warmed it up today. Okay, tell me your thoughts on the culture war. This has just been a, a little ramble. I have never had such a time to think this out so much because I just saw this recently, like a couple minutes ago, and I thought this is kind of silly because, because we are just fighting back against something that's been forced upon everything. Our favorite icons have been completely dismantled, destroyed for the sake of unhealthy propaganda. And... At the end of the day, we are told we are evil if we disagree with it. So we are going to push back. Don't be surprised. So tell me your thoughts. Anyways, bye.